Okay. Well, that was stressful. I tried to do a Facebook live screen sharing. I <laughs> couldn't do it. So thanks for heading over here to our YouTube channel. Let me show you what I'm trying to do here. Okay, we are in silhouette. So I want to show you how I made this shirt. And because I think it's important, the whole point was to tell you that I think it's important to use an offset when you use pattern vinyl. Here's the pattern vinyl we're using. It's our camo vinyl. We sell any pattern you want to get. You can either get it in adhesive vinyl or in HTV. So you can put it on anything hard like mugs or coffee cups with adhesive vinyl and or you can put it on anything soft like a t-shirt. All right, here we're going. Let's start by typing in times are tough but we are. Right. Nope. There. And then a separate line with all caps. Tougher. All right. Let's select all, and I want to use impact. It's up. Now, the whole point of doing this in uh, silhouette, which I'm still new at. <laughs> is to show you what I, it's an easy way to do inset. So here's the word that is our hero word, tougher. And I want it to be in, to do this mock-up so I can see what it's gonna look like in camo. So I'm going up here to our fill panel, go into patterns, and I have already inserted this into my file. So here's the word. You can see what it would look like in camo. You've got your word highlighted. Go into offset. You can have rounded corners. You can have squared corners. I'm going to use the rounded corners and you can make it a bigger offset or a smaller one just by going up and down. All right, now we're putting this on a um, on a gray t-shirt. So let's get our gray color and we're gonna send that to the back so we can see the rest of our stuff. <clears throat> Bring our copy over. And we're going to do this copy in move that off for a moment. All right. Do this copy in white. Move our tougher down. We're going to do our offset in. in white and then the other thing I did was um, I'm going to open a file called elbows and let me show you it's a PNG I brought in I know up here it's coming into a different design panel but I'll get it over there in a minute Okay, elbow, we want to make that an SVG. So we're going into our trace panel up here and select a trace area. Perfect. And put our threshold up as high as we can so that'll smooth it out. And we're going to trace it and detach it. I need to make all this stuff bigger, don't I? Okay, so the only way I know how to get it over here into my design space, and you all can help me with this, is I'm just going to shift and copy it 
We get it over here with Shift V. All right. So that is now an SVG. So I want to make it white. And I want to duplicate it. And we're going to put that one horizontally because this is going to be our guys doing the elbow bump. Actually, we're going to do it like this. We're going to duplicate this one and change it horizontally. Okay. Right here we are. Um, now, these are different elements, but we want to get them. Let me take this back off for a minute. And I'm going to take this off as well because we want to center these two things on top. So we're going to right click, I'm sorry, we're going to go up into Object Align Center. So that gets that centered. And then we're going to center with that our elbow bumping. Instead of embracing or hugging, which I prefer to do, we bump elbows now, right? Okay, now the reason I didn't do that all at one time is that if I tried to align it, it would have made the elbows centered. So I'm going to take the easy way out and kind of eyeball this. Now, we do want to group all of those. So select all and right click and group it. And when we send it to be cut, since this is HTV, we need to mirror it. So we're just going to flip this horizontally and then we'll send it to cut. So if we were sending it to cut, that's what it would look like. Move it up here where we want it to save the most space. Okay, now let's go back into design. Okay, so that's already been cut. Now, just showing you again, tougher is hard to see because there's no offset around it. Anytime you use a pattern, I think a pattern, the better way to use pattern vinyl is with an offset. I use it on um, matte vinyl as a cutting blade. So it goes through pretty side up and do not mirror it. I hope everyone stays safe. Our love and prayers are with you. And someday I'm going to learn how to screen share and Facebook Live. Bye, guys.